and I'm Austin Moore in Payne County, where departments like Stillwater Police are also filling the cost of mental illness. Norm McNichol is the past president of the Oklahoma Association of Chiefs of Police and Stillwater's Director of Public Safety. Resolving issues with persons who are seriously mentally ill, it, it, it is enormous. It impacts the state of, or state of Oklahoma to the uh, extent of three to five million dollars a year that is spent simply transporting people around the state for treatment. There's one example in the city of Stillwater last year, 187 transports. It's not the number of calls that we answered about someone that was, that was having uh, mental health issues. That's the number of people that were actually determined to be in need of treatment and that were transported to a facility somewhere in the state of Oklahoma. It isn't simply the nearest facility either. With options as far flung as Fort Supply, Ada, McAllister, and Benita, the patient will go to the first available bed. They're handcuffed. Frequently there's a belly chain that connects the handcuffs to their waist, leg irons if they're resistive, uh, a helmet if they're banging their head against the uh, windows of the screen partition of the unit, spit mask, and they travel that way for anywhere from two to six hours, depending on where in the state there's an open bed. And that just can't be good for them. And it can't be good for the future of them seeking help from law enforcement once they've been uh, given that kind of treatment. And it's done that way to prevent them from injuring themselves, from injuring the officers, so they can't jump out of the car. McNichols says this is also taxing on the resources and budgets of local law enforcement. A vast majority of the 400 law enforcement agencies in the state of Oklahoma are very, very small. So they don't have the resources uh, monetarily or from staffing perspective to easily handle this situation. So oftentimes their, their town goes uncovered. You know, there's no law enforcement present in the town while they perform these duties. Now, according to McNichol, each case can easily take eight to 16 hours of an officer's time. And when a psychiatric hospital bed is not available, much, much more. All right, thank you so much, Austin. You're welcome, Rob.